Hey, what's up guys? BlurryMix23 here, and um, I'm going to be doing an update today. I know it's been a long time. Well, for me, it's been a long time. It's been about, uh, I want to say, two and a half weeks, three weeks maybe, if that. But um, I just, I'm not going to lie, I haven't been busy. i just been lazy to do this kind of stuff. But um, I will always be around YouTube because I love YouTube in general. Um, I want to do part of, I'm going to show you guys what I picked up for the Trade and Save and uh, some other titles and pawn shop, you know, my regular things. Um, first off, I just got back from SeaWorld, California. And I'm sorry, San Diego. Legoland. And Legoland. This guy enjoyed it. Did you like it? Yes. Did you have a lot of fun? Yes. Okay. So anyway, we just got back from there. And, um, so, let's begin. I picked this one up about, I want to say about maybe three weeks ago. It's the Meet the Robinsons 3D, Blu-ray 3D plus, Blu-ray 3D plus Blu-ray plus DVD. Um, Really cool movie. A lot of people don't know about this. I, I assume that a lot of people don't know about it because a lot of people want to ask me about this, like my nephew, my cousin, stuff like that. But this is a really cool movie. You guys check it out. The animation looks really good. Good story. And um, this slip cover is just awesome. I picked up on the trading safe for, I think, $14.99, which is a good deal because it's never, and you know, Disney movies, they're never on sale. But look at that. Look at that. You can see that. Ooh. Very nice little ticket cover. So, first one is. Meet the Robinsons. Next one I picked up uh, just on a seven ninety nine deal was an extract, just because it has um, uh, Jason Bateman and Mila. Um, the movie was okay. I thought it was gonna be a little bit funnier, but I mean, I just like Jason Bateman because I grew up watching him on. Uh, wow! Oh, Family Ties with. Uh, damn, I'm drawing a blank right now. But anyways, Jason Bateman, Mila Kunis, and. Um, the cast is funny. The cast is funny. The, the movie was okay. Could have been funnier, but can't go back. Seven ninety nine. Next one I picked up on the um, trade and save is Fast and the Furious, the hundred um, anniversary edition with slip cover. Um, this movie needs no introduction. It's the one that started it all with the Fast and the Furious. You know what I'm talking about? I haven't even opened it. I thought it was open because I had watched it, but I didn't watch it yet. So um, yeah, Fast and the Furious Part One with the. Uh, Nice slip cover. I like this. All I need now is just part two and three, which is not really none of my favorites, but I am a completist, so I have to get all of them. Trade and save. I think $9.99. Next one I picked up at the pawn shop was five bucks. Um, Urban Legend. Um, I only got it because this chick, she used to do the Noxzema commercials back in the days, and she's just something about her face that makes her look really cute, and I like it. Um, I don't remember this movie at all, but I will really watch it soon. If you guys have seen this, let me know. Let me know how you guys think it is. Um, Urban Legend. Yeah. I looks, like, looks like the guy from Smallville. It looks like it might be him. I'm not sure. Next one I picked up at the pawn shop is uh, Seven Pounds. Now, uh, my sister likes the movie a lot, Will Smith. Um, I like Will Smith too, but this movie is just kind of, kind of like a sensitive type of movie, and that's just not me. I know he, um, he, uh, killed seven people, or I don't want to ruin it for nobody, but yeah, so... Seven pounds, five bucks, pawn shop. Next one I picked up, I've been wanting to watch it. Still haven't watched, I haven't gotten around to watching it. Is um the Ben Hur movie I picked up for seven ninety nine, I believe. Um, I have the whole box set, but I don't want to open it because it's just like I like the way it looks. But um, this is a long ass movie. It's a long look. It needs two discs because I know like four hours. But um, I started to watch it, and the quality is like oh my god, the picture quality, the way they redid this quality. It's just top notch. It looks. It couldn't get any better than that. It's just really, really good. I plan to watch it this weekend because I just got back from uh, my trip with my kids. Next thing I picked up at the pawn shop was for a, a dollar or two dollars. Was a Boogeyman, the killer compilation. This is basically not a movie, or it's just a compilation of every 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 character and what they do and how they kill. That's all it is. You know, what do they use? How do they get you? Um, but it's pretty cool. I liked it. It's got a little bit of all everybody. Some people I haven't even heard of. You know, like they got this one in here called uh, uh, Simone, Camila. Um, I remember the dentist. But, um, you know, for dog, you can't go wrong. Another pawn shop pickup was a Final Destination Part 5. This one was cool. The bridge scene was totally got to me because I'm not really a fan of bridges. You know, I just really dislike bridges for some reason. I, I can't tell you why. But um, the movie was great. If you don't, if you haven't seen this, check it out, man. The the, the uh, 
the scene, the beginning scene where the, the bridge collapses, is just totally pet it scares the hell out of me. Anyways, uh, Final Destination Five. Next one I picked up on the trading save is uh, Boondong Saints One with the slip cover. Um, really good movie. You know, it's like a Robin Hood type of thing. You know, they uh, kill bad people. But the movie itself is great. It's got William Defoe. It's got these two guys. And um, I couldn't get this one without getting another one. So I picked up part two. Both are equally good. This white boy right here. You can see him. Crazy guy, man. So anyways, Boondog Saints 1, Boondog Saints 2. Uh, both for five bucks. And I got them both. Pretty good movie. Next one I picked up for the kids is um, Horton Here's a Who. Five bucks with the trading save. Uh, you know, it's a Dr. Seuss movie. It's a kid's movie. I got kids. You can see him behind him right there. You know, do you like this movie, Luis? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I got it for them. So five bucks. Can't go wrong. Next one I picked up. Avatar. Extended Blu-ray Collector's Edition. Okay. This one was actually $8 at the pawn shop. And I've been wanting this for a while, and I'm glad I got it now because this is always never on sale, never. It's always thirty to forty bucks, I believe. I haven't checked the lady, but for eight bucks, three discs, it's ten edition, with like three hours, three discs and like three versions of the film. I'm reading off the back where you can tell. But um, yeah, Avatar, eight bucks. I'm glad I have that now. Uh, Trade and Save, Green Hornet, five bucks. Um, I didn't like this the first time I watched it. I watched it again, and it was actually. Pretty good. I liked it. Um, Cameron Diaz is in it. Um, decent film. A lot of action. I like the little toys that they make for the car. Really cool. Uh, Pawn Shop, which was actually before I left to uh, LA and San Diego, was uh, The Good, The Bad, and the Ugly with uh, Clint Eastwood. Now, Clint Eastwood, he's a, he's a classic actor. He's been around for a long time. I mean, this is his younger days when he was like young as hell. But um, I haven't seen this lately, and I remember watching it as a kid a long time ago. I I didn't remember parts of it, but it's a Blu-ray and DVD combo, which is cool. So five bucks pawn shop, nice to my collection, the selection. Uh, Trade and Save uh, was a White Earp and the assassination of Jesse James. I started to watch the White Earp one, and it just I don't know, kind of dragged. Maybe I just got to watch the rest of it. But it's got Kevin Costner, Dennis Quaid, and, and Gene Hackman, three three good actors. Um, I haven't seen this one yet, either one of them, but this one I started to watch and it just kind of dragged, so we'll see what happens. I'll maybe I'll finish watching it, but the cool thing is it is a two disc, so for five bucks, basically two fifty each, not a bad pickup. Uh, next one I got is, uh, Date Night, because excuse the stickers, I haven't taken them off yet. Um, Marky Mark's in this movie, that's what I like about the movie the most, because his character's pretty cool, but, um, the movie itself, the storyline is pretty, pretty whack, it's pretty cool. Um, you know, they go on a date night and they get confused with two of the, they get confused for two of the people and just all hell breaks loose and Mark and Mark's trying to help them. But um the lenticular slip cover is pretty cool for five bucks. Can't go wrong. Another one I picked up at the um, pawn shop, I believe. Yeah, pawn shop, Varsity Blues. I like football movies. Whether they're high school kids, I just love watching football. Varsity Blues, good movie. Five bucks pawn shop. You know, my pawn shop always has good deals for some reason. And the last one I picked up is Flash Gordon. I remember watching this in theaters when it came out. I loved it. And I watched it again now. It's like <laughs> not as good as it was when I was in theaters, maybe because I was a kid at the time. But um, it's okay. I mean, you know, the visual effects kind of like, oh, my God. But uh, for five bucks, I've been wanting to pick this up for like almost a, a whole year. Finally, went down in price. Now that I picked up, I don't, I wasn't too too wild about it. But, um. Hey guys, those are my picks up, my pickups for the last three weeks. I don't have, I know it's not a lot. I mean, for me it's not a lot. I'm used to picking up about eight titles a week. So um, check them out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm gonna be having a contest soon because everybody's having contests now. I know I've been talking about having a contest, but I haven't had any. So what I am gonna do is uh, sometime this next week, maybe this weekend, I'm gonna have throw up a contest for one steel book or maybe four steel books or a set. But we'll figure it out, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, and um, please have a good day. Goodbye, guys. Take care.